Hi friends, it's Pastor Julie checking in and this is Franklin. We're here to do your children's time this week. Today, we're going to talk about what it means to make disciples. So if you want to grab your Bibles and turn to the book of Matthew, now is the time to go get it. going to read Matthew chapter 28 verses 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. When they saw him they worshipped him but some doubted. Jesus came near and spoke to them. I've received all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of this present age. Have you ever put anything in your mailbox before? Like a letter or a bill for your parents or a postcard? So the post office helps us get messages. We get we get important information that we need to know, we get bills and things like that in the mail. They're all messages to us that we need to know about. And so in our scripture today, um, Jesus asks us to be messengers, to spread the good news, to tell everyone about God and to about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So even you can be Jesus' disciple right now. One of the ways that you can send messages about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit is through the mail. So you can find cards. Thank you card. You can send Easter cards. You can send cards to people about baby showers or getting well and reminding them of God's love as you send them. What you'll need to make sure is you have an envelope. You can make the card yourself too, but you need an envelope so you can write their address. And don't forget stamps. So I hope you enjoy being a disciple of Christ by sending out your mail this week. And I can't wait to see you in worship on Sunday. Bye.